Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League is finally out. The early response to the game is pretty mixed. I'm personally enjoying it so far, but I understand the reservations many have with the game. I'm not a fan of the looter shooter live service model, I thought Avengers was awful, but I feel like it works well here, and I think the game expands on the Arkham series pretty well. One of the major criticisms I've seen about the game is that Gotham Knight's story fits in much better with the Arkham canon than this game does, but Rocksteady does a pretty good job filling in the gaps in a fun way. After your first encounter with a Brainiac-controlled Batman, you get a chance to explore a Batman-themed exhibit in Metropolis, which recounts the events of Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and Arkham Knight, along with optional audio logs. We even get an explanation of why Batman is part of the Justice League in this universe that I think works very well. However, you may have noticed a pretty large exclusion from this exhibit, that being the events of Arkham Origins. Origins is the lone main series Arkham game not developed by Rocksteady, and it's the only game in the series not to receive a re-release. Reviews were pretty mixed at the time of release, but fans have since warmed up to the game with some even thinking it's the best in the series. With Rocksteady not acknowledging the events of the game and what is assumed to be the end of the Arkhamverse, does this mean that the events of Origins are no longer canon? I guess we'll have to wait and see when Deathstroke is added to the game, but let me know in the comments down below what you think about this and if you've been playing Suicide Squad Kill the Justice to sleep, your thoughts on the game in general. Thank you for watching and click on screen for another video.